YouTube Max Rock here with another video. Today we're going to be doing a speed test between the Moto G4 and the ZTE Z Max Pro. As you see these two devices here. Uh, both of them have a 1.5 gigahertz octa-core processor, Snapdragon 617. Uh, this one is a 32-bit and that one is a 64-bit. So it may be slightly faster than the ZTE Z Max Pro, but the Moto G is still my favorite phone. Uh, so. What I'm going to do is just open up a bunch of apps here, social media apps, I'm going to open up my shopping apps I have, the different photos that I have, as you see it's the same setup. I might even open up Tidal and then do a couple games to show you which phone may be slightly faster. And to show you right now, neither one of these phones have anything running in the background. As you see, everything is clear. So what I know I'm going to do right now is go to the settings, show you that both phones are running the latest version of Android. As you can see, 6.0.1, 6.0.1. Alright. Alright, so let's clear that out. First thing we're going to open is YouTube. And I'm going to try to do this at the same time. Instead of looking through the phone screen, I'm going to look through the, uh, look at the actual phones. So, let's see here. So, one, two, three. Now, that seemed like the ZTE Z Max Pro had it pulled up first but everything was loaded on the screen first like if you watch the video back you might see what I'm talking about but it was still close to a tie but I might have to give it a GG for alright so that's that one there alright let me go ahead and open up SoundCloud so one two three okay ZT got that wait I mean, that didn't load. Whatever. I'm still going to give it a ZTE. <laughs> so we got Twitter here next. So one, two, three. Moto G4 got that one. What's next here? We're going to do. Oh! Let's close that one out. That was not part of the test. Oh, I'm going to make it part of the test. So we're going to do Wellstar next. So. Matter of fact, let's do Netflix. One, two, three. That's a tie right there. That's a tie. Alright. So, the next one we're going to do here is the Game of the Illuminati. It's one of my favorite uh, channels on YouTube. Shout out to TBH, UTXJG, NI, Ethos, everybody over there. Let's see here. One, two, three. Oh, damn. <laughs> one, two, three. So I'm running again, so one, two, three. Now it's a tie. It's a tie. Alright, so now let's go ahead and open up the Play Store. So one, two, three. Moto G4 got that one. Alright, let me go ahead and open up Amazon next. So one, two, three. Hi. Alright. And so I'm opening up Best Buy next. So one, two, three. That was a Moto G4. It won that one. So yeah, we got quite a few apps running in the background. Oh, let's open up Tidal. It's my uh, streaming service I use. So one, two, three. Now that wasn't really fair because I got the offline mode enabled on this one here. So let me go ahead and close this out and do it again. Oops. Alright, so there we go, let's do it again. So one, two, three. Seems like a tie to me. Alright, so right now we got a bunch of apps open in the background. So what I'm going to do now is open up some games here. So I have to cut that part of the video out, so we're going to do this over again. So Temple Run 2, we're going to run it at the same time. And 1, 2, 3. Like a little hiccup there. 
Let's see who wins first. I mean, who gets there first? I think they both have the agenda four or five, so. It's like this ETZ Max Pro is gonna get there first. Yep. It won. Alright. So, I'm gonna go home now. <laughs> Let's get those two games. And we've got one more game here I like to play a lot. It is uh, the Soul Hunter game. So, we're gonna run that in three, two, one. I'm not gonna turn the phones either. Edit that out too. And the Moto G4 got there first. All right. So did a nice little test there. So we're gonna go ahead and run the speed test now. The Moto G has the five gigahertz connection, while the uh, ZTZ Max Press uh, Press <laughs> ZTZ Max Pro doesn't. So what I'm thinking about doing here is uh. I might just run them at the same time because they're both on they're on different bands. Uh, let me see how this just will turn out here. So let's go ahead and check it out. So I'm gonna begin the test at the same time. Maybe I should do it separately. Yeah, I'll just do it separately. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the ZTZ Max Pro first. So there we go. Alright, so we're able to pull 37, and mind you, my rifle, my rattle is right behind my TV. And we're only able to get, with the C-Max Pro, 10, 11, 12 up? So 39 down and 12 up. Alright, so we're running on G4 now. It's on the 5 look at her span too. See the difference between the 5 gigahertz band and the 2.4? You can see it right there. Alright, then the upload is also on same. So when you see people complain about it not having a 5 gigahertz band, this, this is like one, I mean, it's one little example, but it is an example of showing you the speed differences. So I'm gonna run the test again, see what happens. But that's usually the case with the 5 gigahertz band with the Moto D4. So I'm gonna do the test again for the Z Max Pro. See if there's anything happens. Cause don't get me wrong. I mean, that amount is that amount down is still really good. Like it's really good. But if you want the fastest speed, because you want people that want to have the fastest speed, like me, then yeah, that does matter. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and run it in the G4 again. And this is nothing compared to like the flagship model. Some flagship models can get over 100 down. Like my sister's, her, uh, her S7 Edge, uh, it, it can pull down, because I have 300 down miles, it can pull down 100, and I seem to pull down 130, which is insane. All right, so as you see, the Moto G4 here won the speed test as far as the internet Wi-Fi speeds. So that is all done there. So now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and check the RAM management, all right? So we're going to see who held something in the background. And these phones both have 2 gigs of RAM. They both have internal 32 gigs of storage. I got an SD card in the Moto G4. But that shouldn't really do anything there. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and try YouTube. See which one held it. Okay, they both had a reload. Look at that. Alright. Not a big deal for me. I don't really give a shit. Just doing a, just doing a test for you guys. So SoundCloud. Alright, so... Neither one of them held that open. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to something that was relatively not so far back. See if we can test the RAM here. Cause they only got two gigs of RAM. So far as far as I went back, probably wasn't a good idea. So let me see. Okay. So they held that one pretty well there. I'm gonna go to title. Do -do 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 title. Ooh. Z Max Pro held that one. And the Moto G4 had to reload. 
Alright, so now let's go to the games here. Let's go to Temple Run. They both held that one like nothing. They both got back to the game like nothing. Alright, go to Soul Hunters. Now they both hold it. Or held it, I should say. Um, don't feel like turning the phones. <laughs> let's try Best Buy. See what happens with that one. That should be interesting. Wow, they both held that too. Alright, and then let's do one more Amazon. Okay, yeah, they both had to reload that one. Alright. And the Moto G4 a little different. So, that's pretty much it, guys. Just doing a quick speed test between these two phones, showing you well, which may be faster in day to day life. Uh, the Z Max Pro, in my opinion, is that much, is like a tad bit faster. Um, but as far as the phone I'm using in daily, it's the G4. I just like the, the way the color is, like the build of the phone. I love this case I'm rocking too. I already did a video about this on my channel. The case is so dope. Let me see here. Oh, close that. So yeah, the case is so dope here. And Z Max Pro is a nice phone too. Excuse the dirtiness at the back. Gotta wipe that off real good. Whoa, what the hell is that? Like scratches. Okay, yeah. You rub it out. Alright. Alright, looks a lot better. But uh, excuse the dirtiness at the back here. I don't have a case for it. So yeah, of course, I may be doing some future videos with these devices here again. Just uh, running simple apps, doing simple functions. But this video is already about 13 minutes long. Um, so yeah, just excuse the flash here on the phone. It's at night here and I wanted to do this video because I was already up. So this video will probably be up a day from now, if not a day from now, maybe later on the day. Because I got two other videos I'm working on I got to edit. But, anyway. just want to say, of course, thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, my name is Max Rock once again. And you have a good morning or a good day. Or good night. Based on where you are. Peace.